Hello, welcome back to another video. I am Victoria here once again. Um, you see my face this time. I'm trying out something different. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm just like meh about it. But um, today is going to be another art video. I am going to be doing a Copic. I can't even think of the words. I'm going to be doing a Copic drawing art blah. All right, let's get into the drawing. That was really lame, wasn't it? <laughs> I am full of lameness. Okay, now I don't know if you've seen my workspace before, but it is this small little desk that I've had since I was a kid. And here I am just laying out all the Copic markers that I have. And since I didn't really have any definite colors I was using, so I just, I pulled all of them out basically. And then here I am pulling up the first sketch. Now here you see me working, you see that there's something wrong right here. Like it's obviously turning out really streaky and just really horrible looking and it turns out that I was drawing on the wrong side of the paper. So <laughs> it really annoyed me. So I had to retrace it all over again and um, just start from the beginning. And it was really tedious because those flowers at the bottom, I just found them really tedious to like retrace over and over again. But I am finally going in with the coloring process of it. Sorry if my head gets in the way, I need to find a better camera position than the one that I put it in because I didn't put it in a great spot. Anyways. Um, but yeah, I put it on the wrong side of the paper and I just basically had to like start it all over, retrace it all over again. Um, but as I said before, I had no uh, definite um, colors that I, that I didn't pick out any colors beforehand. I didn't know what colors I was going to go in. So basically whatever just like kind of stood out to me, I just picked it out. But um, you see me here going and filling in the skin. Um, it looks really streaky right now, but I fix it on. I fix it later on uh, in the video. Um, but back on to the topic of the video, and that is art references. And I feel like one of the greatest tools of like an artist, in my opinion, especially like my greatest tool is um, the internet basically and finding references um, because I didn't want to make a grand piece for this video I just wanted to do something relaxing that wouldn't stress me out obviously I kind of it already stressed me out with that whole wrong side of the paper situation oh well but um sorry about that like you can see that there was no hair suddenly there's hair the video cut off and I didn't notice that it stopped recording anyways um, but I was mulling it over basically yesterday because I didn't know what I wanted to draw and I was about to go on Google and uh, basically sorry about that do like a little search of like <laughs> art references like see if anything like pops out for me and I was about to put art references in the search drive and I'm just like, oh wait, I have a Tumblr tag called Art Ref. Like obviously like I prepared for this for a situation like this. So um yeah, like I I referenced this off of a picture that I had on Tumblr, kind of changed it around a bit, especially in the hairstyle. But um in the end that this is what I came up with and art references they really they really help because it's one of the best like i said the best tools for an artist because if you're looking for a certain pose and you find it, it can, you can just see the specific way like how the arm faces like the arm like is positioned and the hand and it's just it's really super useful and I just feel like I'm rambling on because I don't really have a lot to say on this subject but 
that's like one of like my biggest advice to artists like new practicing artists that are just getting into the world of art I feel like I'm saying art a lot oh well but um, yeah if you're ever having trouble looking for art or just tr having trouble like just thinking of something to draw it always helps to look up references especially like if you have like a tumblr or like just something that you can keep like in a folder like like if you see a picture of something like in the internet you can save it like there has been countless times where I just saw something on tumblr and I just loved how it turned out I'm just like you know what I'm gonna draw that because it just like I was just blown away and this was one of the pictures that I chose because I was like oh my gosh it's so pretty but um yeah so we're nearing the end of this video and just doing quickly lining the rest of the flowers and I'm really sorry if I was just like really jumbled in my words because I honestly don't know what to say I feel like I'm in no position to give advice at all like I'm not that great but I just do hope my words do help someone um but yeah this is the final piece and yeah it just it was a really relaxing doodle I, I enjoyed drawing it so much I love how the flowers turned out and that should be it for this video just hit the like button subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you next week with another episode